What's up everybody, welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we're completing Mantis from Hack the Box. This is going to teach us skills that are needed for the OSEP, OSCP and also just Active Directory enumeration and how to break into Windows. So without wasting time, I went ahead and I started the machine. It's on 10, 10, 10, 52. For going to my Kali here, you notice that I just started an nmap scan and this is the command that I ran down here. I said, hey, nmap, let's use service version, minus sc. I wanted it to be the boss and 10, 10, 10, 52. All ports, because I couldn't find the actual exploit earlier. Then I output it to all nmap. Okay, so looking at the results here for this IP address, we notice that we have port 53, which is DNS. So there is likely to be, uh, yeah, that's Windows Server 2008, R2 service pack 1. So this one is also known for having the pack uh, vulnerability. In Active Directory, if you're running an old Active Directory, there is a vulnerability called pack. I think that's this is the one, pack vulnerability. This affects from 2003 to 2012. And here's a few documentation you can see. So if it's Active Directory and it's running on in between 2003 and 2012, we're going to try uh, to do the pack vulnerability. And you can find information about it. Like this is a nice blog post that we have. And it will explain everything. So if we get valid credentials here in a little bit, we should be able to try this vulnerability. Uh, just something to note as we look at our results here. Uh, just by looking at 53. Uh, 88, that's Kerberos. So we know for a fact this is most likely a domain controller. And then SMB ports. Uh, kind of typical of Windows. And then we see 1337. Usually people don't run funny services on their domain controllers. So because of that, that interests me right away because I'm expecting a clean domain controller. I'm not expecting them to be running web servers or any other uh, ridiculous services like, oh, they even have MySQL here. So between this and that, that's where we'll start. So if you are ever going after an Active Directory machine and it is a SQL server running on it and it's a domain controller, there's a chance that SQL is your way in. If it is a website running, there's a chance that that website is going to be your way in. So here, um, just a default IS. Let's throw Nikto on this thing. Throw, I'll also throw GoBuster. Uh, is it minus H for host? I haven't used Nikto in a long time. Okay, so Nikto is going to go and interrogate that. While Nikto is running at it, let's also see if we can throw GoBust at it. Okay, so I'm going to just use this one from a while ago. And then let's change this to be our IP address. 10.10.10.52 on port 1337. That's the lit port. I should give these threads. I'll say minus T for 50. Let's make it faster. It might miss something, but at least we're trying to be faster here. So GoBuster is going to brute force for directories since we just saw the default page. I'm using big.txt because I don't want to miss anything. And for the OSCP and OSEP, I really don't want to take any chances. So I'll do that. And Nikto is going as well. He's checking for the options, but nothing fancy there. So we'll wait between Nick, Nikto and GoBuster to finish. Then let's check uh, our end map as well. Uh, My SQL is on 1433. And we're trying to mount a task here. While I'm brute forcing, I'm checking. I also have a Microsoft SQL server with that version there. I would go and check it out as well. You can use exploit, but I like to use the browser. Let's see if there's any exploits tied to this. So we can go and find out if there's any vulnerabilities. I'm looking for scores that are near 10 here. This does not excite me that much. So I'll move on. If I get desperate, I'll come and interrogate that further. But for now, I see that I see uh, Orchard. Let's go check it out. Okay, that just fails. Okay, so we also see that we have secure nodes. That 
it seems to be promising. And this is classic. This doesn't actually happen in the real world most of the time. People don't put secure notes on a web page. They have to be very, very, very responsible to do that. But we'll accept it here because it's a CTF. Uh, it looks like we actually are making progress here. So let's stop that. And we have dev notes. Open them in a new tab. Then web config. So we are hoping for creds here. Web config is non-existent, but it's showing up there. In our dev notes, we need to download Orchid CMS. So if we find out what the, what the Orchard CNS, CMS version is, we can abuse the vulnerabilities in it. But we don't have a version for now, so let's keep reading. Download SQL Server 2014 Express and create user admin. So we now know the user is admin. And the database is Orchard DB database. Then launch IS and point it to that folder, which we already did. Uh, navigate to 8080. 8080 is actually open. So set the admin password and configure SQL Server connection string, add blog with admin user. So these are the, just the steps. Looking at the URL here, we see that this looks interesting. This looks like th this is a base 64 encoded thing or whatever this is. So we'll try to figure out if there's nodes that are randomly generated like that, maybe we'll find out. I don't like this a lot because this is CTF stuff. Very silly, but we'll say echo. Let's see if it's best 64. If it changes, it is. Okay, so now we see that this is hex. Let's decode hex online. We can use XDD. But why would you do that when we can just borrow? And as you can see, we now have a my, uh, MS SQL password. Okay, so the user is admin and we have MS SQL here. So with that username and password, let's go ahead and sign in. We can use um, MySQL. Um, we, 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 we can use SQL client. I think it, it, that's what it's called. Um, I've used it with Windows Authentication, but let's try dbeaver. So dbeaver is a graphical user interface. This is a, actually a very big database. First time I did this, I couldn't figure out how to navigate it with a uh, SQL client. So we use this little tool called dbeaver. Let's close. And if you do a new connection, new, it's a database connection, then say next, choose Microsoft SQL, then next, give it the IP address, 10.10.10.52, the, the database schema, that's fine, the username here is admin, and the password that we just found, let's paste the password here, and hit connect, when you do, you end up in a database like this, so once you're in the database, Go to databases, you see Orchid here. You can say view database. This will show you the whole database with the DBO. And if you scroll in here, that looks interesting for users. Uh, what if I go to here? Oh, there we go. That's the data. So we find James, and James said HackDB. So this looks like an interesting user. We can try this to sign in using evil winnerm. Or like we found earlier, we can also try to see if we can exploit this MS14068 because this is a domain controller on 2008. If a domain controller is between 2003 and 2012, first thing that I would do is I'll try this. So using this fo format here, I'm going to try to use James's password, this one, and sign in. So we're going to copy this and modify it to our needs. I went to my Impacket folder. It's already installed in the latest version of Kali, the Python script, but I, I'm, I'm using it from here. So go to impact.py, which you can find if you look right here. The DC IP, target IP is that xbox.local and gems are uh, the password i wanted to prompt me for the password so let me look for it in this case 
is up here this one and let's see so what this will do is it will reach out to the domain controller and pretend that this user is part of the domain admins and if it succeeds because there is a vulnerability it uses psx after but it will sign in and it should be system here so am i and we're nt system so this is a common vulnerability if you're interested please go ahead and uh, read about it online there's a lot of documentation that will explain it better than i'm doing right now but as you can see it was a little bit underwhelming getting this but thanks for being here and please remember to like subscribe and share these videos to friends otherwise i'm going for my osep in a few weeks here and wish me luck in the comment section thanks